Hello, I know a different environment. I'm not in my pajamas anymore. <laughs> I don't know why it matters. Anyways, hi and welcome back to my channel. I know uh, that that video was kind of sad. I know. Um, uh, I do miss Ollie though. She's like my my sweet baby. Um, she meant the whole world to me. But today I want to talk about with just things that I'm struggling with while I'm struggling to find a place in my car to put you on. Um, I'm waiting for my doctor's appointment. Dentist appointment. Dentist appointment. Sorry. I suck. Dentist appointment. And at once. So I have time to talk, you know, for a little bit of this situation. And I think we all could agree on that. <laughs> the job system in America sucks. Um, <laughs> I took my glasses off because, like, it's the sun um, reflector thing. So you know i don't want to think like i'm cool or anything i'm not cool but it just sucks because like i mean i i'm not like trying i'm actively trying to be trying to search for another job because one i'm 20 i'm gonna be 25 in like two weeks and then you know the healthcare system says hey let's make adolescents young kids you know out of our parents insurance at 26 you know let's like let's make them struggle because they think that we don't have it all together by 26 no no we fucking don't i'm fucking struggling my current job that i have took for a year okay because of the whole pandemic shit and everything and then i got injured from my last job and so I'm dealing with that crap. And so it's just like, oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name's Leanna, by the way. If you haven't subscribed, it's chaotic here. I don't do anything to the norm of trying to be a content creator. I'm just trying to figure out my shit, shitty life, okay? Because like, I've been applying to so many fucking jobs. I don't know, like 20 fucking jobs a day, a week, month. And it's just like, yay, I get some reviews. My application's in review. And it's just like, oh, sorry, but unfortunately we move on to the next person. I'm just like, what the fuck then? They always keep saying, oh, we need people. We're hiring. And they don't hire anybody. Like, why? It's just so fucking frustrating. And so my thing would say, hey, well, maybe it's going to be a little bit different if I apply outside of the country. No, it's 10 times fucking harder. Like, what is, what is the fucking problem here? Like, everybody's just like, oh, you should go and apply jobs. And, and in the older generation, they get like, we have it easy. No! We lived through three fucking pandemics. Wars. We're not okay. Like, I don't know. Am I the only one feeling this way? Because it's just, it's just so annoying that I'm stressing okay you know i'm thinking like i'm gonna have my life together at 25 i'm gonna move out at 18 you know i'm i have an unstable fucking family you know my family's fucking shitty okay so i i'm doing this and figuring out my life alone because i don't have no emotional support whatsoever fucking ever <sighs> and then people who have a support system they be like oh you're gonna be okay life is so easy it was like oh lucky you not everybody having rainbows and fucking unicorns okay so it's just really like so annoying you know and i have all these fucking skills and shit but they don't give a shit about skills and shit they couldn't want they want a fucking four-year degree so they want us to be in debt and then we have to find experience and so it's just so annoying to try to find something stable. And I'm not actively trying to because, like, I have something stable. So it's just really fucking done, you know? And then now, like, I want to have my own business and I can't even have my own business because I have to have people, you know? So it just sucks. And I really want to get out of America because I'm fucking depressed and the health system is suck here. The whole government sucks here. You know, they really should just demolish the whole thing and rebuild it from ground up because we're because it's back from 1860s or seven, not even 1860, 17, 
700s, 1700s, and it's 21st fucking century. So they're like really fucking behind. And they're still leaning on the constitution. Like it, it just boggles my mind because things have fucking changed. There's social media th like has the last like decade of my life. Like I literally grew up with internet. So it's not like I, I had a life, well, not really a life before, but I knew what life was before, before, you know, how everything with AI and all that and stuff like that. So it's just really like, and I still don't know a lot of things. And I'm like struggling. And then all these resources think are like, oh, this will help you. And it do the bare minimum like my family does. So it's like, ugh. I don't know what the fuck to do, honestly. And it's just like, do I just disappear? You know, would life be so much easier if I would just fucking disappear? But it's just like, no, because I haven't done anything to disappear for. Sorry, I don't know why my lips do that. But it's just, it's just so annoying. And I don't want to like cry about it. And it's not like I don't want to go to school, but my fucking mental health is just bad. So, like, I don't want to drop out for the third fucking time, you know? And I love learning, but it's just I have a whole lot of trauma with that. And so, because, like, I've just been bullied and everything. And so, it's not like I'm dwelling on the past that everyone, everybody want to fucking keep saying. It's not even been bullied. I was pretty much harassed for no fucking reason. Like, I was just breathing and somebody has a problem with it. And I'm just like, go fuck yourself, you know? Like, I don't like you. Leave me the fuck alone, you know? So, I was just like, I don't know. And then everybody's just like, oh, well, you should believe in God. You should have faith. And I'm like, I had that. I grew up in the fucking church. And the church fucking harassed me where I don't want to go to church anymore. And God can't even fix my fucking family. So, how he's going to fucking fix my life? I, like, I don't think, like... I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think, my thing is with that is like, I don't, I'm not like saying like, I don't believe in God. I, I believe there is a God, but I don't believe the God that people perceive God to be because God didn't want to be influencer where everybody is making him to be influencer and idol. Cause he even says in the Bible, don't idolize him. But what are, what are people doing? Idolize him, profiting off of him. And it's just like. Ugh. Like, I, I've dealt with cherry-picking Christians. I've dealt with that in my household. Ugh. Like, I don't want to believe in God of your God. They get that exploitation of him and children and everybody, you know, being a Christian influencer. For what? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. There's so many things wrong with just, I ask myself, like, what the fuck? And even with jobs and everything, like, I, I, like, <laughs> I've done Indeed. I found my last job on Indeed. Well, no, this current job that I have, I found on Indeed. LinkedIn, I've tried. And it's just like, I've had my application, like I said, my application's been reviewed, but it's like, oh, we gotta move on to the next person, unfortunately. Like, go fuck yourself. Then why the fuck would you still have the advertisement and then you moved on to the next fucking person? There's people who actually are needing desperately a job, like me, because the health insurance is shit. And then you're gonna tell me that I could find a good fucking job with good fucking benefits free health care in a year you're telling me that i'm able to get a job in a whole fucking year bullshit the whole government is shit and you could fight me in the comments about it because i don't give a shit i hate america okay i hate it here <laughs> watch this video be the one that blows <laughs> but it's just so fucking unreal and then people who has the money, have it together, who made it off good for themselves and they're thriving and then they want to be like, oh, well, God saved my life. Just trust and believe in God. God will have your back. And 
everything's gonna be okay and all blah 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 and it's just like oh fuck you i don't care okay and i used to watch like family vlog vloggers and stuff thinking like oh man i wish my family was like that i wish i had a family that that i could actually enjoy to be around and i'm just like you know what fuck it i don't care anymore i'd rather just be alone because <laughs> what they're showing is just really not what it is in up front so it's just like you know what my family i mean my family sucks yeah but I'd rather have a sucky family than a fake family. Well, no, because I also have a fake family as well, too, so. I don't know. But it's just, like, I really <laughs> am, like, coming on here begging for a job. But it just sucks that, you know, that you need an education in order to perceive a job. But you, even with the education... You still, one, don't even get the job that you're in the field for. And then, two, they still require 10 years of experience. And it's just like, well, you're going to get the experience with the job and be like, no, well, you need, before a corporate job, you need experience before the corporate job. And it's just like, well, how am I going to get a fucking corporate job? Okay, and even with the fucking internships. Like, why can't we, why, why is it that we have to be enrolled in school for internships for the experience for a corporate job? Like, why can't we just have an internship for the experience, not for school, but also for the fact that, for the experience for the corporate job? Because that's the whole point of the internship, not, not some for I mean, I get internships as like for a career, for a school and stuff like that. But if people aren't going to school, why are one buying internships that are thousands of fucking dollars that are not guaranteed? And why do we have to pay a thousand dollar fee for an internship when it should be fucking free? Like what? We have money just digging up our ass like that? And even, even getting paid every two weeks is still waiting for a whole fucking month. You know? So it's just like, well, what the fuck to do? Is this just everywhere or America just, America just fucking sucks? Because, I don't know, I'm fucking depressed here. I'm trying to find every way where I could just... Because I know my life will be just so much better when I get out away from my family. Get away from America generally because everybody sucks here. Or maybe it's just Virginia. But I, I just don't see myself being happy here for like forever. And I'm not like going to like get away like my my um citizenship or whatever. Because like if I have a kid, I would still want my kid to have opportunities here as well too. So, like, wherever I go, I would still have my passport and it'd be like, all right, well, you know, mom still has, well, not land, but you could still have opportunity in America because mom is still quote unquote American. But, well, I'm half American, but thank God, at least, like, I don't claim, like, you know, I have some something where I'm just like, well, I would hate myself more if I was a full American. I'm glad I'm not a full American, honestly. But it's just like, it's so fucking ridiculous that the government is just like this. And then they expect our life to be like on path by 26. <sighs> Am I wrong? Or is this just a delusion that I'm like thinking this shit? <sighs> do better <laughs> it's not even like we could do anything about it because it's, we have no control and then you know we have these people that we vote for saying like oh well i'm gonna try i'm gonna do this and this just so like as a as a uh clickbait really they're doing all these things that we want to do 
And it's not even promise guaranteed because they're just seeing it as a campaign so they can have people on their side to vote for them. And they do the opposite of what they promised. So it's not even for them, for us, for them. It's really for them so they could be having a title. And so that's why it's just like, is it really purpose to vote when the campaign or the person that's running the campaign came and promised what they preach? And you have men making decision of women health, a bodily system. And it's just ridiculous that we don't have any women making rules for us because men's dick are doing it for us. And it's just like, how do you know what a body works when all you do is just think that you could pull out when you fail, you know? You don't know what a fucking, you wouldn't live in a fucking woman. You wouldn't been, you wouldn't last 24 fucking hours as a woman. <laughs> like, for real. It, it, it just, a lot of things don't make sense to me. And it just, I have a headache every day because I'm thinking like, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm trying somewhere and then people have expectations of me and I'm not even getting paid for my expectations to do more. And it's just like, no, if you want me to have high expectations, then then the pay should match it. I'm not going over what what I need to do for your expectations, because if you want to do that, then my pay needs to match that expectation. I'm not going over my pay. You know, and to also have myself being in danger or injured again. I'm not. I'm not doing that. If my safety and and well being is is impacted, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Like my health it matters more than a fucking whatever. And I'm just like, what the fuck then? <laughs> I don't know what to do, you know? And you think you got it all good, and then you think that, you know, God has your back and everything, and he ain't helping shit. But the people that want to use and want to use him when 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 it's good for them, but he need, he doesn't help the people like me that actually needs his fucking help. Like, he just shits and laughs. So that's why I, I don't have my relationship with God anymore because I just feel like, why am I building a relationship with them and he's not seeing that I'm struggling, you know? Okay, I have nobody in my life. Like he removed everybody in my life, but where is my life going where, where it's always so slow and stagnant because everybody's gone. I don't have a family that cares about me or, or support me. So you're just gonna leave me on the dust when you erase everybody out of my life and that's okay and then i don't have my career or anything else good i don't know if you want more car talks like this i will gladly <laughs> be able to do like these kind of videos but it, it, it just it, it's just it's just annoying and I really want to get out of here so bad because, like, what if I'm not gonna get a job in a year? I need somewhere with healthcare that's free. <laughs> you know? Because why is everywhere else with government wise? Why is why is it that healthcare is free elsewhere, and then yet we can't have that, and we're we're more developed than a third world country? But a third world country has free health care and we don't. That don't make fucking sense at all. Or am I stupid? <laughs> I don't know. Comment your struggles below. If you if you're on the same boat as me, let me know. I don't know. Alright, bye. I also want to talk about too is that like I don't have like a set kind of schedule for like my channel because of it's like a long form Snapchat kind of vibe video or continents like I'm doing because you know <clears throat> Snapchat is like every 10 seconds but at least with you know YouTube I could like make it a full 20 minute video so that's why you see me posing like 
at least three times a day or whatever because i'm doing it as like a step track kind of vibe so if you want it like that that's cool um just let me know below and yeah bye again